to Educator, we are in the Calculus 1 sequence looking at absolute maximum and minimum values. And so here we have a polynomial and we'd like to find its maximum and minimum values on negative 1 to 2. So once again, to get started, we need to find the critical points. And so we'll compute f prime and set f prime to 0. f prime is 12x cubed minus 24x squared plus 12x. And we'll set that to 0. So I'll take a step and just set it to 0. Then we'll start working on factoring it. I'm going to factor out a 12x and I'll be left with x squared minus 2x plus 1 and this product equals 0. So I have 12x times x minus 1 whole thing squared equals 0. So we're getting critical points x equals 0 and x equals 1 and f prime is defined everywhere and so there are no additional critical points due to f prime being undefined somewhere. So now we evaluate f at the endpoints and at the critical points. So we need f of negative 1, f of 0, f of 1, f of 2. Now we can see graphically which points are going to win out here, but for completeness um, we could just go through this anyway. So at negative 1 we will get 3 plus 8 is 11 plus 6 is 17 plus 3 is 20. And you can see that's consistent with the plot over here. f of 0 is easy. Everything zeroes out except for the 3. That's this point here f of 1 is 3 minus 8 is negative 5 plus 9 is 4. So f of 1 is 4. That's consistent of course with the plot as well. And f of 2 I probably can't do in my head. So we have 2 to the 4th times 3 minus 8 times 2 cubed plus 6 times 2 squared plus 3 I'm getting 11 and that looks good as well. It looks consistent with our plot as well. So I have confidence I typed things into my calculator correctly. Now the largest of those is the absolute max. So we have an absolute maximum given by f of negative 1 equals 20. Absolute minimum is the smallest of those which is f of 0 equals 3. And so this over here is my absolute max. This over here is my absolute min. And of course you can see that yes, those are the highest and lowest values on this plot.